Welcome back, my friends. Today we will continue to explore western bank of the Golden Hearn. In previous episode, we took a sneak peek in the Fener district, and today we will continue our walk in its neighborhood, Balat, and complete our day in cafe with Bohemian name Velvet. The name Balat is derived from Latin word Palazzo, which means the palace, and it is believed that quarter received its name because of the big palace Vlacherni, which was located here. It was an imperial residence in Byzantine times, but unfortunately most of it has been damaged with time, and only its ruins remain today. Historically, Balat became an extension of an old Greek district of Fener. Like Fener was the Greek quarter, Balat was the main Jewish quarter of Istanbul for many centuries. Many of inhabitants were Greek-speaking Jews who lived here in Byzantine times. Later, this quarter was mostly populated with the Sephardic Jews, who emigrated from Spain in 1492. In those times, Jews were persecuted under the Spanish Inquisition and were rescued by Sultan Bayezid II, who welcomed them and provided them an asylum here. As I had mentioned in my previous episodes, Sultan Mehmed II, the conqueror of Constantinople, wished to create a cosmopolitan society. So from the beginning of the Ottoman Empire, he granted privileges to Christian and Jewish communities which settled in the city, and they were allowed to live freely according to their religious preferences. As a result, Balat had numerous synagogues neighboring with the churches from the Fener quarter. Three of the synagogues are still in existence, including the Arida synagogue, which is one of the oldest in the whole of Istanbul. During the rule of the Ottoman Empire, Balat Quarter was famous for its street, big number of bakeries and jewelry workshops. After numerous strong earthquakes in 19th century and later the fall of the Ottoman Empire, majority of Jewish residents moved to more modern districts of Istanbul or emigrated to Israel. Similar to the Fener Quarter, abandoned houses of Balat were later occupied by migrants from the Black Sea countryside. Since last 20 years, Balat has been experiencing a new wave of life as it was put on the list of the UNESCO heritage sites. And more than 100 buildings have already been restored here. Balat is mostly famous for its special atmosphere and scenery with fading beauty, where 200 year old abandoned houses neighbor with newly renovated 50 year old buildings. Numerous antique shops on the streets of Balat invite you into the world of vintage objects from past centuries and let you imagine for a while how people lived here before. This is the district for those who like stories. Velvet Cafe is the project of two business partners. The Velvet Café in Balat area is their second place and the first one is located in Bioglu district, near the Galata Tower. Café is located in an old building from the 1950s, which was originally a winery. The concept of café deeply connects with the family roots of one of the owners of this place, and his name is Yuxel. The interiors of Velvet are designed in refined vintage style. Its atmosphere reflects the love and the warm memories from Yuxel's grandmother's house, where he spent all his childhood. The space is comfortably divided into different zones. A big living room, library corner, an inner little yard with a garden. Each table, even smallest one, gives you a comfortable home feeling, as its surroundings are full of details and furnished with exquisite style and a vintage touch.
Even their bathroom showcases an antique marble sink from one of the ancient hammams. This is Yuxel, one of the owners of Velvet Fest. So, my last visit to Velvet, I tried your signature dessert, Helva. Mm -hmm. And it made me definitely uh, addicted to your place forever, I think. <laughs> As I understood, it's Turkish uh, traditional sweet. Uh, but to be honest, uh, it's uh, taste really different from whatever I tried before. And um, being in different places of Istanbul, I have never met this dessert. So tell me, what are the secret of your signature dessert Helva and why did you decide to put it in your menu? Alright, I'm very happy that you like it. And uh, well, actually we didn't think that it will be the uh, popular dessert that mm -hmm. uh, our guests love one day but just uh, it happens and so just this helva is uh, coming from uh, our family mm -hmm. the, uh, the recipe is coming from the family and uh, when you look at the recipe it's very simple actually it's, just, it's made of uh, flour mm -hmm. milk butter kaimak and sugar and that's it that's it but uh, the, it takes like one and a half uh, hours to make it to cook it mm -hmm. you should stir without stopping mm -hmm. so it's not also easy to cook it mm -hmm. you cannot find it uh, yes. uh, at restaurants generally uh, because uh, it's made at home uh, generally especially there is another story with this helva uh, because uh, we Turkish people uh, make this helva uh, after the funerals mm -hmm as a dessert to serve uh, after the prey mm -hmm. and so just it's called flour helva there are kinds of helva in turkey but just this is flour helva and uh, after the um, ceremony after the funeral mm -hmm. uh, we eat this and then just what we call it just we eat the person's uh, helva mm -hmm. after he died so just, um, and this is one of the tastes from my childhood that I love actually. And then uh, once I told my mom that just we should put it in the menu and then she said, Yuxel, it will be kind of strange since there is a story like this related with the funerals. And then I said, just uh, come on, we shouldn't wait for someone to die to eat this. And so just we put it in the menu. And then later they really liked the taste. And now, when we are having guests, sometimes they are coming to the cafe and they are saying, we will eat your helva. <laughs> kind of just, we died and then they are eating the helva. And then so just, you're welcome, here you go. And then so just, we are happy that just, um, they like this taste and just we are sharing this nice taste that comes from the family. And uh, because just, we are happy when the guests are happy and uh, we really like sharing the time, sharing the common stories in life actually. Yeah. Very nice story. I really like the taste and to be honest, I'm very sure. I have never tasted the honey. But it reminds me also something from my childhood memories. I don't know, maybe from wow. past life. Maybe wow, that's so nice. So, as I understood, everything is meaningful in your place and I really appreciate it because I believe that only with such attitude uh, will provide your business loyal customers and a good reputation. So I cannot miss to ask you about the meaning of your name of cafe. Why mm -hmm. Velvet? Yes, actually Velvet in, in Turkish uh, it's called Kadife. Mm -hmm. And um, the uh, name is coming from the family again with a story. Uh, my grandma's mother, uh, she had a very nice skin, very pure and very shiny. So uh, our family friends, uh, they called her as Kadife. Mm -hmm. Even there are some uh, photographs uh, written uh, at the backside uh, to our Kadife uh, with love, kind of. So just um, Kadife, it's Velvet in English, and so just we wanted to put something in a, a name international, mm -hmm. kind of because just we have uh, the cafe, first cafe in Galata, which is uh, more like a uh, touristic mm -hmm. uh, area as well. So just it's coming from the family, Velvet, mm -hmm. and so we are happy to have this name 
with our family story. Mm -hmm. Very nice and beautiful. And uh, uh, the, the, the name itself, for me, associated with something bohemian, something rich. Mm -hmm. So I guess it's a very nice choice of naming your cafe like this. Thank you. Uh, and I want to mention also about your beautiful collection of vintage cups. Yes, we do. As I understood, you allow customers to choose a cup uh, mm -hmm. for their own drink. And uh, have there been any incidents where a customer accidentally broke your cups? It happens, actually. <laughs> yeah, we started uh, our uh, cup collection uh, with the cups that we brought from the uh, house, family house. Mm -hmm. They were around like eight or nine cups and then later our family friends brought the cups from uh, their houses. Mm -hmm. um, those are from their uh, grandmas, grandfathers and then just the collection started to become bigger and bigger. Mm -hmm. And so later just we uh, started to uh, buy the cups uh, when we are traveling around the world. So just uh, we are, I mean, always just making the collection uh, bigger actually and so just we uh, started to uh, serve with these cups mm -hmm. and so uh, we are happy that our guests can choose their cup and enjoy uh, enjoy the coffee with it actually yeah uh, of course it's risky because just uh, you are of course just with drinking with it just you are carrying it to the table and then so just it can be broken uh, of course, it's sad when you uh, see one of the cups are broken because some of them are really uh, meaningful for us, you know, just uh, they have a memory for us sometimes. Uh, and so just, but when they are scared, I mean, the guests are scared to break the cups and then they ask us just, what happens if I break the cup because just I'm so scared, I'm not feeling comfortable. And then just we say, well, I mean, it happens, but just we really uh, care not to break the hearts, um, so the cups can be. <laughs> so just this is our um, thing that just we care in life actually, not to not to break the hearts because just um, later it's not easy to fix the hearts, and so but you can have another cup. Well, it sounds like slogan. Come to Velvet and your heart won't be broken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe, you're right. So, thank you, Yuxel, for sharing Pleasure. your story, the story of your beautiful place. Uh, thank you for your attention. It was very nice to meet you and to talk with you. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to meet you. Yeah, pleasure. So, as I told you, Balat is full of stories and it has definitely a special atmosphere and its own charm. Thank you for watching. I hope this episode was useful for you. Leave your likes, subscribe to our channel. I wish you a very good day and see you very soon. Bye.